So today I'd like to officially announce that Speed Test G is coming to the iPhone. So if you want to find out more, please let me explain. So over here on the Speed Test G channel, we publish videos regularly doing a Speed Test G between two different devices. And up until now, those have been Android devices. And the way it works is that each device has the same 10 or so apps installed on it. These are individual apps. And then they are launched, so we get the launch startup time, the initialization time included in the overall test run. And then once the app is launched, it actually does some work. For example, you know, sorting tests and, you know, blur tests and all that stuff that you've seen in the videos. However, as I said, this was just for Android. They were all written using the Android development kit, using the standard tools that you need for Android. Now, of course, that meant that it didn't work on iOS and lots of people, including myself, would love to see Speed Test G running on iOS. So I've managed to do that by redesigning Speed Test G from the ground upwards, starting at nothing and building up. And we've had to face several big challenges along the way to get this thing working on iOS. So let me tell you about those challenges. First of all, Android allows you to create a custom launcher. And I wrote a custom launcher for Speed Test G and it launches the apps automatically and measures the time it takes for those apps to run. You can't do that on iOS. However, we have found a way of actually getting one app to launch or tell iOS to launch another app. And we've used that system to replicate the same idea on iOS. So there'll be a, an app that you start I'll hit the start button and then it will set off a sequence of events where different apps will be loaded and run on the iOS device. So that was a big hurdle to overcome and we've managed to do it. Having said that, we haven't been able to get Unity or Unreal actually involved in it, kind of wrapped up in this system that we've invented. So what's actually going to be is that for the iOS test, it will stop before the 3D test. So the way it's going to work is this. The I, this version is going to be called the cross-platform version, so I'm going to call it Speed Test G X 2.0 to differentiate it from Speed Test G2, which is just the Android version, which is fully automatic all the way from the beginning right through to the 3D test. And the way Speed Test G X is going to work is it's going to do all of the tests up to the 3D tests and it's going to give an overall time for that test run. And on the normal uh, Speed Test G 2.0, I'm also going to give that same test run time so that we've got a comparison, but it won't include the 3D part. And then for the 3D part, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a Unity app that I'll run manually on the iPhone, and I can run also the same app manually on Android, so then we can see things like frame rate and how long it takes to get through that test run, and then manually we'll add the scores together at the end, a bit of mathematics, shouldn't be too hard, to give us the overall time of a Speed Test GX run. So that will be different to a Speed Test G run. Okay, so you can't compare a G, G run with a GX run, just so that you know that, because I can't find a way of getting Unity and Unreal to launch on iOS. Also, I mentioned Unreal there. For the moment, the GX version will not include the Unreal test. It will just be the Unity test. So all of those apps that will run, then the 3D test manually, add them all up together, and that will give us the final score. Now, of course, initially, we're going to be testing iOS against iOS to see how different generations of iOS phones, different iOS devices, maybe an iPad, for example, how they all run. However, however, because I've rewritten this from the scratch, from the bottom, I've written it using a cross-platform system, which means that the code I'm running is actually the same on iOS and on Android. And this is a big step forward. So when, for example, we are running the 16 thread test as one of the tests from the original Speed Test G, we have that in Speed Test G 2.0 and Speed Test GX 2.0, that 16 thread test is exactly the same code running on iOS and running on Android. And from how we've investigated and looked at the different SDKs, different programs, there shouldn't be any performance difference between the two because they both compile down to native code on those platforms. And they're not particularly using anything to do with the operating system. So for example, of course, when it allocates memory, it has to do that through the kernel and say, give me some memory, please. But when it's actually doing the work, it's just running a program. It's not using iOS features or Android features to do that. So this is the closest we can get 
to test these two things side by side. And the same is true of the Unity test. In the Unity test, Unity is a 3D gaming engine. We write one set of code, we design one model, we design one uh, uh, scene on Unity, we do our flyover, and then we say to Unity, please compile this for Android, please compile this for iOS. So it's the same code base, the same scenes, the same graphics, the same details should then be available on both platforms. Now, of course, any cross-platform testing has its drawbacks, but this is the closest that we can get to removing all of the different possibilities of things that could go wrong, okay, and giving us this common set of code that runs on both devices. It's the same code that runs on both devices. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how it works. Now, of course, we've got the new iPhone coming out. So the hope is that we can get this running in the next few days so we can actually start testing iOS with iOS and also iOS with Android using Speed Test GX, which will run on both Android and uh, iOS. So there you go, exciting news. I'm really looking forward to seeing it working. So please do tell me in the comments below what you think about this. If there's any questions you've got, please ask me because maybe I'll update the FAQ so that people can have a good set of answers to some of the common questions. And well, that's it. I'm really looking forward to seeing it. So thanks very much for watching. My name's Gary Sims. This is Speed Test G. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget we have a Twitter channel, Speed Test Underbar G. And well, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.